Okay, how's it going guys? It's Timmy Joe, I'm making videos and stuff and things on the internet. Uh, I just wanted to do a follow-up to the video I did the other day, the underpants gnomes, um, you know, where I was like, buy a computer, step two is, I don't know, step three is profit. Well, this is going to be that step two, because in that video, I bought a computer for 400 bought a CPU for 40 put those things together, painted some power supplies, made it look good. It was a core i7 system by the end with an RX 588 gigabyte in it. It looked cool. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it. But for those of you who have, I got this CyberPower PC in exchange and made a small $50 profit, which, you know, accounting my time, you know, that, that was lackluster at best. But we had kept a bunch of hardware. I kept uh, 4690K. It's quad core, might hit five gigahertz, might not, but it's still a very relevant CPU. But I wanna see just how relevant it is. I pulled out my uh, Z87 motherboard and we're gonna try this out in 2019, like well, next week. So subscribe for uh, Core i5-4690K, overclocked to its tits in 2019 with the uh, MSI Gaming X Trio 2070 Super, which should be fun. So we have that, and then we have some of Jesus RAM I kept, eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. You know, it's good to have for a rainy day for a, another system down the line. And then I got this uh, CyberPower PC, and in exchange, plus $50 profit. And uh, what are we gonna be making on this? Well, I had it listed for 220, but I'm gonna wind up making 300 on it. And all I had to do to that computer, which was traded to me because power supply was dead. Wouldn't turn on, customer didn't know what it was. When he described the way it was happening, I was like, the power supply is dead on that. Now that was a risk because when I did put this 500 watt power supply I had lying around in there, might I'd say it cost me $50 at some point. Uh, then I wound up finding out that the BIOS was corrupt. Because it's a gigabyte BIOS and there's dual BIOSes on there, it actually fixed itself when I first booted this thing up. Also, the Windows install was corrupt. So something really went on with that, that old power supply. It was some, I don't know, really bad power supply. It said it was 800 watts. I took it apart, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. But we put a, a newer power supply in it, this thing fired up, we got it figured out. And now, um, I put this on the internet with less eight gigs for 220. I got a guy who wants to buy it now, and he said, can you make it any better? I've got $300 to spend. So I said, well, I could put an SSD in it, because I put Windows back on the original one terabyte, and uh, I could update the RAM to 16 gigs. And with the 3570K in here, and I know it's a crappy motherboard, like that's what CyberPower did. They went, hey, we're, we're selling the best CPU or the second best CPU in the market. Check out this awesome 20 or whatever, $1,200 computer back six, seven years ago. But it had a terrible motherboard, green PCB RAM, and a GTX 660 two gigabyte in it. This would have, like, I see these computers all the time with some crappy power supply. They're, they're junk. But I've Timmy Joe-ized it here. We fixed it up. I put some new thermal paste on it. We got, uh, you know, everything cleaned up, blew up the, the dust, put uh, SSD in it, put a better power supply in it, and we're going to sell it for 300 So what kind of, well, we're running Cinebench here. Almost breaks 500 in Cinebench. So still pretty decent relevant CPU. Cinebench R15, I think R20 would probably blow that thing up, but as far as you know, putting uh, maybe even a 1060 in this computer, that's, that's totally doable. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get this fish finished up. I've, I've run, uh, just so you guys know, I installed Windows, I don't activate it, and I tell the customer it doesn't have an activated copy of Windows on it, but all you'll ever have a problem with is there's a little watermark in the corner from time to time. But I'd rather not go through the trouble of activating Windows and buying the key if I don't have to. So yeah, we get this all buttoned up and together and then I run Firestrike, I install Hardware Monitor. Um, in this case, I installed MSI Afterburner. I just wanted to see what this 660 could do. And uh, then I overclocked it 100 megahertz and I ran Firestrike and it doesn't even break 5,000 in Firestrike. So as this sits with the GTX 660, two gigabyte in it, it's not very good for any more than, you know, esports titles, Rocket League, League of Legends, Dota 2, uh, Counter-Strike, you know, maybe a little, you could probably play Fortnite on this, but I, you know what, it's a $300 computer as it sits, 
And if the guy wants, he told me maybe late, later down the line, he'll want a video card, he'll come and see me. You know, there's some profit to be made, there's some relationships to be made, and the reason why I install this software is I make sure the computer works, I run fire strike stress tests, make sure nothing's overheating, and then uh, I install hardware monitor that way. If later down the line the guy calls me, he says, this thing's not acting right, I can get him to open up hardware monitor and just at least make sure that something's not overheating. Maybe he's got cats or something and he filled the thing with cat hair and it's overheating and that's you know, the reason why I can do that without going over to his house or having him deliver the computer to me and say like, well, you're, what's wrong with your CPU temperatures? You know, well, I've got cats. We can figure that out. That's a good idea to do that. So all of this is all buttoned up. We're gonna go sell it to the guy. I'll show you the money and then we'll tally up exactly how much money I made in two videos. So come with me. What's up, people? Got the money. Sold the PC. We're done our little PC grifting adventure, and I did a little tally tally ho for you. So, we bought a computer, okay? And we bought a 4690K RX 580 PC and another CPU. I swapped the CPUs because i7 sounds better, and I wanted to review a 4690K in 2019. So, we'll be doing that next week. Fun stuff. I also kept 8 gigs of the RAM because why not? We could still sell it without eight gigs, and as we saw in the benchmarks I did, it was still doing pretty good. It was still doing high FPS. So, I had to buy a cool. well, I didn't have to buy a cooler. I did for the aesthetics, and I thought maybe it would help with overclocking, but you couldn't even overclock on it. So, I could have even made $30 more, but I did have to buy an SSD, because I like to sell computers with SSDs. They typically give a good impression of how snappy the computer is. It makes the consumer happier, and considering they're so cheap, sure. Throw some taxes in there all in. I was out $500 on that computer. I listed it for $650 and within 24 hours got an offer, well actually within like a couple hours got an offer to uh, actually buy the computer for $550, so at a profit, and the guy had a CyberPower PC that was not starting up. And I took a risk, but it paid off in the end as we'll see because I kind of figured that the power supply was broken on that PC and boy was I ever right. So I sold the computer at a $50 profit plus I got a new computer to sell. Awesome stuff. Sold it for the profit. We had $50 in our pockets and we had a new PC to sell. So I also still had some hardware. So, you know, keep that in mind. So I, out of the $50 profit, I had to put in a $50 PSU. I had lying around. I actually didn't physically purchase it. So this is, you know, some money that's, you know, whatever. But still, I think I bought it for 50 bucks at one point, like $49.99 at one point. And I uh, took it out of another computer that's long since gone. And uh, I had to buy a $25 SSD again because, you know, that it's just going to help us out. Actually, I was going to sell the computer as what well, as is, just with the power supply in it. But I wound up making even more money adding the SSD with a customer that wanted an SSD. So it worked out. So I was negative $25 and I sold the PC for $300. Boom. Here's the three. Look. It's right here. I'll make it rain. Woo! All right. So I'm $275 profit, plus I've got the 4690K, 8 gigs of RAM, but there was some time spent. So what did I make per hour? Well, I made about $91.67 an hour, all said and done. And of course, there was some spray paint, some double sided tape. Uh, I think I might have put an old fan uh, or two. I, I swapped some fans out. I don't really count that. I have so many case fans, whatever. And, uh, you know, my time is valuable. But uh, in addition to that, I make money on the YouTube. You know, the last video did all right. It's going to make me some profit as well. So uh, in the end, I do pretty well selling these computers. Now, this is a, you know, pretty extraordinary case. I would say I don't usually make this much money, especially if I have to resort to things like eBay for parts and stuff like that. It can get, you know, shipping. It makes it, you know, you go on there and it's like, oh, an RX 570 for 200 or for $150. That sounds great, but then you have to pay shipping and it winds up being, you know, 
$30 less than retail, you might as well have just bought retail and got a warranty and stuff like that. And half the time you got to clean those up, things like that. But when you're doing local deals, especially in a smaller town like this, you can really like, uh, you know, sit on something and hopefully get it for a lesser price. You can haggle people down and stuff like that. And then, you know, I, I always like to, you know, put some time into the computer, make sure it's functioning right and all that stuff. So there's that. But I wanted to just kind of put this one to bed that actually ended up making $275 total profit for three days worth of work and three hours worth of work. Like, it's pretty good all in the end. So thanks very much for watching. Dance for me. Ooh. I'll see you guys in another video. <gasps> I'm the Queen of England. Subscribe to Timmy Joe at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to his Patreon.